right, here's my Catoni Aster. But this is a nursery stock Catoni Aster. I did some pruning in the early spring. I didn't cut it back very far. Boy, did it shoot up. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this vigor. And you said you really don't know the proposed front per se. Yeah, so we, we could start pruning and then decide on a front. Yeah, for sure. I don't think I need any of these branches down here. Yeah, easy to clean up those. I'm just gonna call mine my little apple tree when it's in bloom with those berries in the fall and it looks like a little apple tree. I'm That's gonna... what I, uh, my, my intention with this was to make it look like an orchard. An orchard tree, an orchard yeah, tree. It's got that start. It does. Know, it's got the, the low. Big chop, low, big main branches that yeah. are, they've been keeping it low so they can pick that fruit. Yeah, fantastic. This is going straight in. There you go. And you do this slowly and you start to see what the tree has given you yeah by taking those a little bit more obvious branches out but this is where i want to step back because this yeah on itself is 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 quite an ugly little section of the tree no foliage at all no foliage pretty straight up and down kind of you know no major taper at the moment and i'm regretting not having been a little bit more um, uh, bold when I when I pruned when, it earlier. When you in pruned the it earlier, absolutely. Yeah. Where do I find the courage to do the things I want to do? Have someone else here and <laughs> take it. Just, say, just just hack it off for you. Yeah. <laughs> and what you don't realize right away if you're just looking at that branch is like what happens up top here and it splits into three directions this one yeah. splits into two really good directions. i mean it's nice and ramified up here and has a pretty nice top to a tree but it's coming from this straight kind of starts to curve backwards and nothing there so you, how what, what do you cut off and how how drastic do you go yeah because this this doesn't have much but it's being overshadowed yeah by, yeah by this what would nigel do Big cut coming up <laughs> yeah and and then i would ask you with this tree since you've been working on this tree when you cut here and you cut these back right here is that when these showed up yes there was yeah basically so, nothing on this tree over the winter so if you if you see a tree and it's new to you and you never worked on like a 20 aster and you didn't know if this you know, that'd be a risk. If you cut it right here, you don't know what's gonna happen. That's a big risk. But if he's already cut things like that and you know you're gonna get back budding, we cut up here, we might get that branch to go here or down here or down there, right? What would it leave me with if I cut this branch? It would leave you with a really ugly stick sticking straight up, right? And so people would be like, what in the world? Yeah, you have a bit of a conundrum there. Yeah, because I got a similar situation here. Over there, yeah. But at least it has that for it. Yeah, and even it up has, here now, it has, it has some, something to go on. It has a little bit of tape, but not much. But, yeah. Curve, but no taper. And then all the energy on these trees are up at the apex and up at the tips. And so we, and then when they're thick too, we're not getting as much sun back in there. And these can become longer and leggier. Mm. So, you look at the inner nodes on this guy. Yeah. Look at how long they are, right? Yeah. Whereas up here where it's getting all the light, they're at least half the size. And there is some nascent branching happening. Yeah. I'm just um, going to cut that baby off. Wrong direction. Yeah. And look, it's got some nice age to it. Yeah. Let's talk about other potential fronts. Yeah. And maybe this problem would disappear if I looked at the tree from this side. Yeah. I like that back branch when you see it from that angle. Mm. So for the viewers at home, if we're like right here, you move, there you go. Because look at the tree you can see now. And then this doesn't look quite so ugly because we have this front portion, which is kind of weird front back. Mm -hmm. And that's so big back there and more looks like the primary tree. But now you can see four branches developing in here. You've got the path to the left, the path coming up here. This one curves up over there. That one goes up over there. It just shows off a really fun tree. And it's not so, oh, look at that stick straight section right there on this on, on this Y thing. of a yeah, tree, yeah, yeah. right? We got a little bit of a Y going on. So that's the lesson with with all of your trees. Don't be so sold on one view. 
always reevaluate it. Mm -hmm. when, you know, mark a new front if you if you think I mean, that's when, not a bad front. And when people mark that front, then you kind of can work on the tree without with a repot with that in with mind. that front in mind. You have to think about that. Yeah, excellent. All right, so let's clear up this stuff and maybe it'll yeah. make us make our decision. <laughs> Do you get some fall color on this one with this variety of uh, Catonia? No. No, I, I didn't notice any any color change at all. Any color change at all, and it didn't quite lose all its leaves. Foliage. Yeah, the foliage didn't all stick kick off out of this. People want to see what you can do with nursery stock, and oh, I found sure. that looking at my YouTube analytics, that people like this kind of thing. They want to see what you can do without yeah. spending a thousand dollars on a tree. Right. It's nice to know you don't have to go collect a tree in the wild that looks like 100 years old already. Not everybody can do that. And you also don't have to spend, you know, a couple hundred dollars on a tree that's bonsai ready. But you can really take some nursery stock and really do some phenomenal things with. I agree 100%. What do you think about taking this off completely? Is this branch got... completely? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, it's got this one and this yeah. and this little guy. I would take it off. Well, if you would take it off, Dave, I would. Take I'm going to take. <laughs> you do it. You go first. <laughs> yeah, you shorten up both those guys, and you just took off right, a so big let's talk chunk about of tree. Shortening. I'm not seeing buds, but that is where there's a bud there. That is where it. Yeah, it's going to push out the new growth. I'm yeah, I'd, cut I'd, it to I'd here. comfortably go right there as well. There's a little branch here. How about I cut it right there? Mm, good start. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Even a little bit for dieback. It is going to the interior of the tree, so I'm looking at this saying, why didn't I just cut the whole thing off? Yeah, this would be a branch that I probably would cut off completely and let the top of my hand grow. Everything above my fingers is beautifully placed. This one is mm. going to bring our eye away from where we want it to go, I think, and I, I would almost cut. Now there's a branch growing on it right there, but I would cut it, and I would almost get that bottom one completely off. Completely off. That's what I would do, right? Remember, I tell that to my my folks all the time. So here's what I would do if this was in my backyard. I would cut that entire thing off. There we go. Okay. And now all the energy is on that beautifully placed. I mean, look at the smooth movement of that structure right there. I love mm -hmm. this. It's coming out here. It's coming out here. There's a back one back here and this one going this way. We have a little pad actually on a Cotone Aster right there mm. by getting rid of that bottom structure. And that's not going to be an eye poker and it's not going to take over the tree. Now, is it higher on the tree than we'd like? Yeah, but we're cutting this and it's gonna shoot out more back buds and we're gonna see what happens next year. So I, I like that cleanup right there. Now, once I clean this up, yep. this might be my dominant apex. It might be. I'm gonna take it off right here. All right, so this is a crossing branch. Don't want that. So if anybody has watched my latest Katoni Aster, that was the video with my stepson, Jake. Oh, and yeah, we yeah, let yeah. that go the entire year and it was like this but not quite as robust but uh, just let it go crazy and we 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 cut it down to size yeah. pretty, and pretty he decently. Was, he was okay with all those yeah. guys. Yeah, he, he did all right. All right, so here. Useless? Y yeah, well, we got it. We don't want it. All right, now I'm seeing this beautiful trunk. Yeah. Do I want this at all? This and this. And if we don't want to get rid of that for younger growth and taper, that is a, probably a, a, an awkward position and would probably just come off. I would agree to that. I like your line of thinking there. Yeah. So that growth thickened up all that branch more, but boy, it's time to come off. Yeah. I like the way this curves around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shorten it. Yeah. Probably take it to there and let this little let branch that one, grow. Let that one take off. Yeah. I would agree. I like that decision as well. I don't want to go too close. Yeah, we're starting to see the tree. Yeah, boy, that's a, it's a nice branch up there. Too bad that wasn't, you know, four inches lower, right? Yeah. <laughs> and who knows? I mean, this might start to develop. Yeah, it could very well. Develop. I would love to see some stuff right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So we give it time and we'll see. I don't think that's a drastic decision we have to make today by any stretch. No. I'm not a fast snipper. Because I always regret when I go through things fast. I may edit it to look like I'm going through fast, but... <laughs> I like this one. 
This one in the middle is not quite as mature, but if I get rid of this, yeah. it'll have a chance to grow. It'll have a chance, yeah. Got my little secateurs. <laughs> yeah, I'd almost cut the branch off first and use your new um, knob cutters to peel away the other stuff. I think that would be a safer cut. Okay. That now, now he's got a new um, knob cutters that's smaller. Look at that, and that's gonna get in there and kind of clean that up. Now you can also go too fast and aggressive with those too if you're not careful. So we just kind of kind of nod it a little bit, slow but sure. Got to get a feel for this one. And Steve's got the patience to do that. See so right there. Just get in there, and yep, you just we're just gonna gnaw a little bit off so we don't go too fast, too far. Yeah, that'll become if you get rid of some of that chunkiness up top. And you've got those two branches you're keeping mm -hmm. from this angle again. It's like yeah, you've got this really low hanging uh, kind of apple tree, which really is nice. There we go. That was a big one. This one has a little branch starting. Yeah, it does way. have a branch going that direction. That's nice. We'll that and you, of there. course, hope that this one has a branch coming out here next year. There's one kind of trying to form up top. There's a couple over there on that side. It looks like that's wishing and hoping. Well, if our old front stays the same kind of sort of, it kind of crosses in front of the tree and it's a little bit of a sore. But if I change the angle... And I want to propose something out loud because I was just thinking about it in my brain. If we go back to this part of his tree and look now. We have these two that we kept and we got rid of the third one. But they're the exact same branches growing in the exact same direction. And this one's more mature and this one's not. Will we be able to move one of them a little bit to make them so they're on different trajectories? That's what this one provides, but it's way over there. So it's kind of odd if this was more... Curve, if it curved around this way. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to want some kind of redirection of one of those branches at some point whether it's a guy wire a cork a piece of styrofoam to shape so this one i wonder if we just cut it back a little bit and hold off the see whole cut see to that. see what happens next year i'm a, i'm a little anxious of cutting the whole thing off because then it looks like we have a a swoop of nothingness in the middle of your tree and everything's growing off to the right or left which that's what's getting the light i suppose mm. but i would almost cut part of that off and maybe wait on the whole thing until next year and that's me being super cautious and if Steve decides, hey, no, nope, this is ugly, I'm going to get rid of it, he'll cut it when I leave. You know, it, it, it. I cut it. There you go. While you were here. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So we got another little section here that we only do. has a little branch. It has there. that beautiful little branch curving back towards the tree, but it's got such a nice curve to it. But no one will ever see that, right? So we're just going to cut that whole knob off? I think so. I think Steve's going to cut the whole knob off with a little twisting from me here. I think we have to. This might be a cut for my... Uh... Ironwood tool. Ironwood tool might be a little bit better. Learn something right, new. So I'm cutting here Lifelong with ones. my ironwood ratcheting, ratcheting pruners. pruners. And we can clean it up again later if we need to. But they, oh, okay. so much power, those things. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that looks so much better already. Yeah, we got a couple of big runners still and that whole mop on top on right in front of you right there. There's a lot this, going on. Yeah. Look, look at that growing right at me from Steve and holy buckets. Holy buckets. And kinda... this starts out on a pretty mature branch. Yeah. Wow. It's fun to clean up a tree like that. Look at that. Yeah, that is something else. Yeah. yeah. So there, there we're crisscrossing. You know, these two are both crisscrossing. I didn't even this see one, those. This, this one's growing on. a weird angle, but that's a better angle going out that way with this branch here so if he cuts those two down low contemplates that guy too because they're you know they're messing with each other and the other one's a better angle there we go so we can kind of leave that for now yeah and again something to, to consider for folks at home we've got thick with no taper and although this is a lovely branch look at these two coming off this way if he mm. wants horizontal look at those two branches nicely spaced moving here you get rid of all this noise and all of this is just going to grow right out from this spot but next to this big good branch. Point, so so I, I think that one almost could be one of those that we completely get rid of again. And then that's that, that tough call where we have, now we have taper. Now this is a ridiculous taper, but we have a thick trunk, we have a thinner primary, we have these as future secondaries and tertiary will be out here, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And who knows how long this will stay because all of this could be the future of Steve's tree. I talk about this a lot. You have to be able to see that, hey, maybe this be, oh, I love this branch. I don't want to cut it, but could this be the tree? But we love that curve, so we're going to leave it there. All right, so we're getting somewhere. We are now. This is this is taking shape now. Okay, where do we want to jump to? 
Um, there's, there's a few little things in here that we'll clean up. Yeah, after. you can do yeah do those little cleaning ones. That's easy. Given this airflow, uh, sunlight getting where we want to get it, making sure we're not having too many branches growing in an area for for big knobs later on. So can I show something real quick before you do that, Steve? I, I, I'm interrupting Steve in the middle of his show, but you see how this branch is stick straight for, for two inches? Mm -hmm. But look at this new branch right there. So not that he has to do that on this tree, but there's a perfect example of like, well, look at that direction. This just changes it subtly, but it gets rid of straight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you cut that all off. But he's going to trim that up first and see if he wants to keep it, which is a good way to start conservative rather than getting too excited too early. And I do that a lot. You yeah. know, I'll, I'll say, well, let me just see what it really looks like because you can't right. see anything. Not until you clean up a little bit, thin things out. Yeah. Yeah, what do we do with that branch you just touched? I mean, look at that thing coming out from the bottom directly this direction to our face here right now. Gotta go. Gotta go. That's, yeah, we want to see under our tree and everything's growing up towards the sun. We clean that out. There we go. And now he, now you can kind of see the tree better. There's still a lot going on in there, and maybe he'll make some of those major cuts next year, or if he decides something right now. But well, I like how it's all cleaned out. I'm going to take this one off in favor of that one and the one underneath it. And I like that move because, again, if we left those two here and this right here, this bifurcates, this was two branches. We have two, like, pads stacking on each other. Now we spread out the wealth. Mm -hmm. And then he's got these two crisscrossing, though. So what is he going to do here? Keep this one or one, this one that's kind of shooting this way. So then he has one, two, three. Just a nice little pad there. But is this one in the way? Yes. Or is that one in the way? This one's in the so way. So my gut went to there, but I don't see it from your angle. But I think that's what I would have done as well. And now... Now look at how clean this is right here. This is a little bit higher, so we have two different planes up and down, so it's not a perfect plane, but this could go, it's just gonna be a nice little section for the next year, couple of years, and we'll see what happens. Branch there. I mean, look at back here, he's even got this branch back here. That's a whole nother small branch lower on that tree. And I again, like that. tight, tight. Uh, but it's, it's growing up and interfering with it's, this it's growing, Yeah, so do you cut up a couple of leaves that are going straight up right there on that section and just- Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off happens. to here because yep. there's, a, there's a bud down there. There we go. And then we'll see what happens next year. When all those shoot out next year and we're doing the same technique, we maybe get rid of one of those branches. Okay, where are you at now? <laughs> well, I saw this and I was like, eye poker. Oh, look, there's, there's an X right there. X marks the spot. One's growing that way, one's growing that way. Yeah. We're not going to like both of those. We might not want any of them, but we certainly don't like them both crossing. I don't like this one. Got to make sure the scissors isn't getting the branch below. Yeah, the one you, you don't want to cut. <laughs> This is a difficult tree. It's a it's a time consuming thinker uh, for sure. We have to figure out what's going where. Unless you disagree. Well, remember we run the risk of having no leaves for a long section. What if he cuts that off now? We have a long section with no leaves, right? Do we worry about that and cut this one off so you actually can highlight that branch back there? Because this is growing back towards the tree as well. And then you take this off. And now look, I can actually see some foliage here in here. Is that a bad thing? Or do we have all these long sections without foliage? But it's a mature branch. An oak tree looks like that, yeah. right? An oak tree is going to have that long, look at that, all those trees in our backyard here. Notice how I moved in everybody, our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that right off. And there we go. Everything on this tree tells me all this stuff up here is going to go. Is going to go at some point. I, th I agree. I think that when you're, when the branches have set behind it where you like them and you can make those bold cuts, absolutely. That's the direction of most trees that people are often afraid to cut. But yeah, you're gonna look at how lovely that branch is. But you know what? You're gonna have to cut it at some point. This one's coming off at a bad angle. Yeah, that one's kind of a weird one. I just noticed that one too. It's a lighter color. It's weak because it was on the inside. It's kind of an odd one. Here. I'm gonna, I don't know if I should leave that either. I would for the time being. Yeah? I think I would. Looking at it from this angle again. All right, so so you've got this little branch that starts out pretty mature, and it, yeah. and it mirrors this one. Yeah, it does. So which one would you leave? This one's too low and pointing too much at us, where this one goes up a little bit more, and then it has this branch going back this way. Mm -hmm. So I love the flow of that one, and this one I just, I don't know if it's in the right spot. Plus you open up to see this division down here, and I like it. Plus there's a branch down here if you really wanted it in the future. 
that little tiny one. So I would cut the bottom one. I'm doing it. Pruning stub here. We are sweating like pigs here. Today. Yeah, this is hot. It's time for almost our first shirt and a wardrobe change. <laughs> Don't have to really overthink that one. So that right side is pretty, that's pretty much there. Look at how this looks like this. Yeah, that that's a really peculiar branch, right? You can take that one right off. This or this? The skinny one for right now? Yeah. I think the skinny one just needs to go. There we go. It's not a pretty tree. Not yet. Right. So yeah, and like you mentioned before, I mean, you say it's not a pretty tree. Remember everybody, Steve could do what he just talked about earlier and get rid of this entire branch right here. Mm -hmm. He can cut this whole thing off and look, he's got a branch back here, a branch back here. This is growing, this is growing. He can cut this entire thing off. This is the future of the tree. We're gonna let it go one more season and see. <laughs> he's thinking about it. Because again, look at all the energy up here, right? The tree does such strange things. This is this is it. It throws some shoots in from really bizarre directions. I mean, even these two up here now that are crisscrossing. You know, it, it's just one came from here and went that way, and this one's going that way, and it's like holy. I like God. this one. Yep, that one's like a whole this. lot better. I don't like this one. And that's just there. Oh God, I'm glad that's gone. I feel better already. And people say when you get started in bonsai, you don't have to have specialized tools, and that's true. But once you use uh, a, a, a scissors that's made for this, yeah. And you and and I was I just explained in one of my recent shows these very uh, shears right here. I bought a pair of fifty-eight dollar shears that were on sale for thirty-eight, and then the other ones were forty-four for seventeen fifty. Both very similar. These will do me wonders mm -hmm. and clean and pinpoint accuracy and clean cuts on your trees. And it's worth spending that 20 to 30, 40 bucks on a tool that you're going to use for a long time. Yeah, another, another, uh, right here. Yeah, yeah, that. My gut says eliminate this yep. guy. I, I, I think that's totally, a, yeah, that's that's the call. So that one it's not a bad branch. It's not a bad branch at all. It's really close to this thicker branch. There's also this branch here. One, Close two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're, we're going to clean that up a little so bit. So I think we talked about this before. If I took this off right here, this branch. The bottom one, or this one right here, this part. Not up here, but down here, this. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about this heavy set. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the cut would be right here. Yeah. And you see all this, these, these internal, like, what are you going to keep of those two? So we're making these two grow the same direction. And we're getting rid of that if we get rid of that and this one splits into two even up here i that's a tough section it's hard for you to see on camera on that one but we've got we've got two here big thick one back here and this one up here that's kind of going that direction but he was considering cutting this off and he might then there's there's two that are kind of growing in the same direction very close to each other yeah, this had nothing, living on it. nothing even on it there you go and th th there isn't much of this branch which you say is competing with, yeah. with this one but it's really not no. I could even take it back to there. And what what saves us or hurts us is this branch in front of it. You can't even see what's going on back there right now because this one is in the way. It grows up this way and takes a really interesting angle back that way. So all that in the way makes this almost moot from the front. But from the actual branch, we still when want to... When you say an interesting, do you mean interesting good or interesting bad? I think that one's too much to the left. If this was a windswept tree to the left, this would be fantastic. This would be a better branch, but I see you've got this one right here. I know this whole, this right there, that whole redirection, I mean, that's more than a 90 degree angle. I mean, that's actually a squished going back. I don't know. Great movement. But again, is this the direction this branch should continue to grow out here and not back that way? So that, that one, I would consider taking that one off at that weird junction. My consideration. <laughs> Your consideration today is very helpful because yeah, yeah. I don't think I would have made that decision, but I think it's a good one. There we go. See, so we have this great big chunky branch mm -hmm. that was going that direction that blocked the thing we're trying to decide behind it so how do you decide that now we have the lower section still there this branch is still growing out this way and this way so now which one of those three do we do we look at and now steve can actually see the branch and how there's boom 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 and he wanted to cut it off down here but then he's left with still boom boom 
I don't know. So which one do you take off? Which one do you keep? He couldn't really see that until we cut off that other really odd shaped branch. So you consider taking that one off then and keeping this and this? Or are you still thinking about that big one? I was thinking about that big one, but now I don't know. What do you think? I think we should cut that actually that, yeah, that bigger, thicker branch in the back. And that's going to be a hard cut with all those leaves. And there you go. That direction probably is going to be the easiest. Nice. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There. Now, see that? See, if, now, I don't know if these are in the way, but that opens us up so much. We've got some more movement here that we can, and we can get rid of this branch we want to and keep that in that or get rid of that one or. Yeah, this one's still interfering with this guy. Mm -hmm. But it has little branches down here. And if I cut it short. Way down, to, yeah, we're going to go that low on that one. With this one going off this way, mm -hmm. if I get rid of that, it's not competing anymore. Right. There we go. There we go. Now it's now it's a little bit freer. And then if you balance these three out by cutting this here and cutting this one over here, you've got this balance of all these are going to have the same bigger, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. That one may be a little, yeah, somewhere in there, right? And then there, now that's... That's a better balance up in that top section. And look, it's, it's so much cleaner anymore. <laughs> We're not whipping anybody in the eye, like the last Katoni Astro I worked on. <laughs> All right, so we still have one dangerous one. Though. Yeah, and, and this one too. <laughs> yeah, this branch is going in a nice direction. I doubt it. Under this, though. Mm-hmm. Which again is kind of long and leggy from what used to be up top, maybe. maybe I'll take that off. This. Yep, going more down, more outward. It's got the more maturity and more movement, but uh, we're gonna cut it yeah, way back. Right there. There we go. Go ahead, whatever you think and do it. This, well, this this came to my attention. Now again, we don't know what we're gonna do with the front of this tree yet, but this branch right here is coming from way down here. It's got this beautiful curve all the way up here. Now it's going way in the back, but it's going between these branches like cutting across all that so if you cut so it here we've got this to grow and mature up here for the canopy but we don't need this back here because all this is going to fill up this is going to fill it's so a lot associated with this that. yeah so this one's you know how short do you cut it you got it right where it grew this year or even back here for these new parts but this one look at this branch right here this is a beautiful branch right here mm -hmm. and it's already lignified pretty good you cut that one right there where this branch was cut earlier that's going to just get rid of that whole cluster of uh, branches trying to cut between the tree. So that's got to get shorter somehow. And even if you save this one, it's better, right? And cut it right there. Do it, do it. Like right there. See that? And it's going up. And it's just filled some negative space right here if we leave it for one more season. But it's not coming wrapping around way to here. And you cut this one back, even if you just cut it there, you've got this kind of apex up here. And we trim some other ones. What do you think about this guy? probably not worth where it's at and what it's doing and if you cut that all off you see some of the back of the tree if this remains the front so i like getting rid of those little squiggly ones there and i want to go back to what we talked about way early in this discussion about is this going to be the front or would you twist it at all we've got a we've got a tree that has two very thick you know this kind of y section here and they're kind of similar and they're kind of similar heights if you were to cut this one down today and cut this where we were thinking back here, we've got this lower section here and this lower section back here and this bigger section over here. We've changed because, you know, bonsai is all about a symmetry. And right now, are we trying to make these two, are these two branches looking too symmetrical, right? So what do we do drastically? Or do we do it this year with this side and then next year with that side? Because he was thinking about cutting this. And I think that still might be a good option, even for today. But where would it be? <laughs> would it be here or would it be up here? Conservative, up here, right? He's got back buddies, back buds here. He's got this beautiful branch right there, but this is coming more at us if this is the front. Um, this is a curve which could get knobby like we did with another tree. Mm -hmm. But if you cut, if you cut this away, so this branch and this branch, I, yeah, I, that that is a tough call how short you go. And again. If we didn't go far enough this year, well, we'll go far enough next year if it all shoots up a lot of growth. I could take this off right to here. Yeah. And then worry about this. Worry, worry about it next year and see how it grows. Okay, here we go. Big cut coming up. Big cut. And how do we cut this without cutting the other branches? And this is an under branch that might not stay, but let's just give them a little clear section here to cut that thing off. 
All right, there just we go. Just like that. Just imagine. like that. And now if this grows up at all and becomes a, uh, a pad as well, and this kind of gets into our pad here, again, now we don't have two trees fighting each other. And now it's a little heavy on this side, so we have to decide how much do we cut or we just leave it go for this year. Uh, this tree's not going to get easier next year. It's going to get yeah, harder. It's going to get harder. See this branch here? Yeah, it's is coming. That a, is that a good branch? No. It's going this way from over there. This branch, the, the top part is prettier, but I would, I would probably cut that one off and this weird one going straight up right okay. there. Do we want to get rid of that one? Yeah. Because these branches are growing out beautifully, but that's inside and that's probably just nothing that we need to keep in there. It's gonna get to the crack between two branches. Yeah, so there we go. Nice. And again, if people wanted to get really picky about a tree or think about the future with no taper, I mean, just think about if you chopped this tree right here and had this branch become the new tree or this one. I mean, you, you, you can go nuts with these That's trees. my vision with yeah. this tree is it, to take it, take it down and take to go, it out. Yeah, it's gonna have to go down. And we're starting with some of that today. So now we made this an apple orchard tree. They cut off the top. We want everything to grow out and it's gonna have all these apples dangling from it and we'll be in good shape. So Dave. Yes, from, Steve. From this branch out. Mm -hmm. I'm not liking this, but I do like that branch. So I'm thinking of cutting this. That whole thing off? That whole thing off. Do it. Do it. Dave says do it. I, I, I approve Steve's decision. How about that? Does that sound better? Steve decided to do that and I said, yeah, I'm liking that decision. Oh, so much better. Oh, beautiful. And you can see that under branch and oh yeah. What a difference that makes. And this is a good tree for two people to eyeball. This yeah, real, yeah, yeah. really makes... Because it kind of, if you cut that whole top part off and shorten it up, that's your new tree right there. Yeah, and it's going in the right direction. <laughs> and it's going in a good direction. The other question is right here. Like, what if you cut from my scissors up off and left this as the back of the tree? Oh, I'm liking that. I mean, look at that see, branch back see, here. Let me see look. how much it's got. It doesn't have much. No, but if you, you now, and that's gonna leave a little more negative space over here. So that's a fear. It's gonna be, ah, oh, there's some negative space over here. And this branch, and think about this, this branch is behind this main thing we're looking at. And so it's crossing. Yeah. Yeah, well that for sure, that cross maybe could go. And maybe we get, did we talk about getting rid of that one too? I don't think we did, but. I or. Think, I think we decide this by getting rid of that branch. Or do you get rid of this one, Steve? Oh. That's coming towards the center of the tree and blocking what we see on that beautiful branch back there. You know, it's great from this side. I love this angle of this, but that's never gonna be the front of the tree. This collaboration is fantastic, I have to tell you. Well, I think the ability to share a different perspective that I or you might not have even thought about can change a tree dramatically and hopefully for the good. And so, yeah, do you just wait and cut that center one off and just let that branch continue to shoot out a little bit? Because again, right here on this path, everybody, if we turn this this way, branch, 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 branch. These are all super compete. What if we get rid of this thick one right here and just let all that glory back there and this is gonna be the new, mm, I don't know. We're doing it. Let's do, and again, we can cut that branch. If we wanna go one boulder, we go one boulder. And I think that's gonna open up that section. And again, like he says, we're trying to make this kind of a flat top orchard tree. And that, that's a straight up branch and everything else is going a little bit more to the back. Oh, that was a good decision. Okay, so I think we did okay there. I think that is a better decision for today than any of the other choices at first, I think. Oh, I think that helped a lot, Steve. I do too. I think that helped a lot. Awesome. I apologize in advance for how long this episode's gonna be. So much cleaner up there. And again, like you said, if that all comes off next year or the next, we're still setting off to look like it's got a little bit of potential now. And it's throwing some vigor back down right. into the tree. We are pushing, pushing that energy down and we're gonna see what it's gonna do. I'll be very curious. It'd be nice to see if you get back budding down here anywhere. Be I'll be great. very, very curious what's gonna happen on this tree. Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'll drive back next spring. <laughs> that was just, there. This guy? Yeah, try it there first. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind that. And it also doesn't now compete as harshly with this unless you cut that off another quarter of an inch. And again, this isn't the finished tree, so that's not a big, that's not a life or death situation there. I think this guy yep. has to come off. Yep, do it. From my angle, when I just came around to see that, when you pointed that, I said, hey, we could, we, 
we can clean that. <laughs> there we go. This is where, again, I, we mentioned earlier, Steve or I haven't gone back behind the uh, camera enough to go like, hey, what if you cut off that branch? Because we're looking at it from on top, higher, looking down at an angle. We gotta get down and get intimate with our tree. And even this one branch that's going up, do you want a flat pad or do you let it go? Or this guy coming out way out front? This has got a little branch right there. Yeah, there you I go. That that's a better way. branch. And now you have a pad. Now I have a pad. Now you have a pad there. And that's a, and, uh, nice. I'm gonna cut this back a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, we've cleaned this up a lot. This will be fun to see. I can't wait to see uh, six months and a year from now. Get some glue and give it a final spin here and at an hour and four minutes, we should consider wrapping this one up. Oh, I'll cut it. Wait. Nice. All right. All right. You're going back on the bench, buddy. <laughs> Go find your home. All right, I'm going to wrap this episode. Thank you for keeping me company in my backyard. Take care of you. Take care of your bonsai. And we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>